എവരിവൺ വെൽക്കം ടു അവർ സെഷൻ ടുഡേസ് ടോപ്പിക് ഈസ് സൈറ്റോസ്കൽട്ടൺ സെൽ മോഡിലിറ്റി സീലിയ ഫ്ലജല്ല മൈ സെൽഫ് അഞ്ജലി പി ഡി സെക്കൻഡ് എം എസ് സി ബയോളജി സെൻറ്റ് മേരീസ് കോളേജ് തൃശ്ശൂർ ലെറ്റ് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ടോക്കിംഗ് അബൌട്ട് സൈറ്റോസ്കൽട്ടൺ വാട്ട് ഈസ് സൈറ്റോസ്കൽട്ടൺ the cell apart from their organelles and all very interconnected like skeleton of our body skeleton entirely made up of proteins uh, it is a network of protein fibers throughout the cytos- cytoplasm the cytoskeleton is composed of three well defined filamentous structures one is microtubules second one is microfilaments and third one is intermediate filaments that get together form an elaborate and interactive network it present in all e- eukaryotic cells roles of cytoskeleton it gives set structural stability and mechanical rigidity to the cell and forms intracellular framework for the organization and orientation of cell organelle plays an active role in tissue repair mimics development and uh, it help in the interactions within and between the cytoskeleton element and maintain the integrity of the cell these are the properties of micro tubule intermediate filament and actin filament their uh, dimension structure distribution primary function uh, these are uh, elaborated in the table uh, next one is micro tubule actin and tubulin are mo- small monomer bead like structure so the beads are connected to form a polymer when they form polymer is called filaments these are tubule micro tubule these are hollow and relatively rigid tubular structures it is thick thick in structure and it is all Uh, seen in all eukaryotic cell its outer diameter it is 25 nanometer and their thickness wall thickness is approximately 4 nanometer the wall of a microtubule is composed of globular proteins arranged in longitudinal rows termed protofilaments what is protofilaments the walls of a microfilament walls of a micro tubule is composed of globular proteins arranged in longitudinal rows is called protofilaments and when we viewed in cross section micro tubules are seen to consist of 13 protofilaments aligned side by side circular pattern within the cell wall Uh, then each protofilament is assembled from dimeric building block it consists of one alpha tubulin subunit and one beta uh, tubulin subunit in the formation of micro tubulin alpha tubulin molecule non covalently bind with a beta tubulin molecule and form a tubular heterodimer the assembling of tubulin dimers take place at one end that micro tubule end is called micro the plus end uh, not micro uh, it is plus end and on the other hand hand uh, dissembling occurs uh, that end is called minus end in this picture uh, we can see um, uh, two subunit alpha and beta tubulin subunit uh, that form a uh, tubulin dimer and we can see the cross section of microtubule tubule 
and next one is microtubule associate the protein maps shortly called maps maps comprise it is a um, heterogeneous collection of protein it maintain the parallel alignment of the cell and uh, it they increase the stability of microtubule and promote their assembly uh next one is motor protein um uh, motor proteins are kinesin kinesin and dynein first one is kinesin it is a tetramer and it constructed from two identical heavy chain and two identical light chain act as a atp hydrolyzing and it help in um, it act as a force generating engine each head and connected to a neck and a um, rod like stalk and fan shaped tail the motor protein move micro move along microtubules towards their plus and ki- and kinesin is called plus and directed microtubular motor kinesin um, function is um, uh, transport vesicles and other cargo towards the synaptic terminals uh, these are the structure of uh, kinesin uh, it it consists of uh, head and uh, each head connected to a neck and um, we can see in this picture um, head and connected to a neck and uh, connected to a rod like stalk stalk and fan like uh, tail Uh, they transport vesicles and cargo other cargo uh, materials towards the synaptic terminals next one is dynein the uh, this protein is responsible for the movement of cilia flagella cytoplasmic dynein is a huge uh, protein composed of two identical heavy chain and variety of intermediate light chain each dining heavy chain consists of a, a large globular head with a elongated stalk the dining head which is ordered uh, order of magnitude larger than kinesin head acts as a force generating engine dining acts as a force generating engine each stalk contain all important microtubule binding site situated at its tip this 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 is the picture of dynein uh, it has a large head um, compared to kinesin um, kinesin head is small uh, dynein head is uh, large and connected to a um, uh, uh, elongated projection is called stalk stalk situated at the uh, tip uh, tip region and it contain uh, all important micro tubule binding site situated and their function is uh, it is a uh, act act as a force generating agent and it uh, help in the positioning of uh, spindle and chromosome uh, during mitosis and uh, minus and uh, it act as a minus and directed micro tubular motor Uh, it help in the positioning of centrosome golgi complex etc in my uh, function another one is functions of uh, microtubule mainly concerned with the uh, it help in the movement of cell and cell organelle and give structural support and mechanical stability to the cell and determine help to determining uh, the form and shape of the cell and form centriole cilia flagella kinetosome and mitotic spindle form the cell plate during cytokinesis in plant cell and help in the intracellular transport of macromolecule Ma- micromolecule are central structural support in the cilia flagella uh, these are the pictures of cilia and flagella cilia is a minute hair like organelle identical in structure to flagella uh, that line the surface of 
certain cells and beat in rhythmic waves it provide uh, locomotion it helps locomotion this this is the picture of cilia and flagella flagella is a slender thread like structure and especially microscopic whip like appendage that enables many protozoa bacteria spermatozoa etc it help to swim these are the pictures of um, flagella the, uh, there are many type of uh, flagella arrangement is there uh, atricus and monotricus and amphitricus cephalotricus peritricus and lophotricus and these are the arrangement of cilia uh, movement of our, uh, cilia and flagella um, uh, cilia movement is back and front beating and flagella movement is uh, propeller like motion microfilaments under one is microfilaments um, microfilaments is a approximately uh, 8 nanometer in diameter it composed of globular subunit of protein actin and in the presence of ATP actin monomer polymerize to form a flexible helical filament actin filament is essentially two stranded structure and with uh, two helical glue actin exists either in free monomeric and globular form is called g actin and polymerized filamentar fibrous form is called f actin these are the pictures of uh, actin filament uh, it uh, it contain f actin and it can in globular actin uh, and uh, free monomeric form is called mono monomer subunit at a critical concentration g actin the polymerization and depolymerization of f actin are dynamic equilibrium in such a state the rate of addition of g actin monomer at plus and of the f actin is equal to the rate of the loss from minus n as a result the length of the actin filament remain almost unchanged this phenomenon is called thread milling it is a important phenomenon the rate of addition of g actin monomer at plus end of f actin and is equal to the rate of uh, loss from minus n as a result the length of the actin filament is remains almost unchanged this phenomenon called thread milling this is a process um, the process um, uh, the addition of g actin monomer at plus end and uh, and uh, end of the f actin uh, is equal to the rate of the loss of loss from minus n as a result uh, there no change in the actin filament length of the actin filament uh, remain almost unchanged actin binding protein microfilament cross linking protein first one is microfilament cross linking protein these are protein this facilitate uh, the cross linking between microfilaments mainly actin filament to form bundles or meshwork uh, this in turn um, this promote gelation um, and such protein will have at uh, at least uh, two binding site for affecting binding proteins example um, filament and fimbrin and spectrin under one is uh, under actin by binding protein is actin depolymerizing protein uh, this is a uh, proteins reversibly bind with g actin and inhibit polymerization it promote solution and uh, example is profilin 
Another one is microfilament capping protein. Example is uh, gel, gel soling and accumating. It help in capping. Another one is microfilament serving protein. Example is gel soling and myosin. Myosin molecule is formed of two spirally twisted peptide ch chains. It is almost rod like with a globular head and filamentar tail. Myosin serves as the molecular motor and uh, another one is tropomyosin. Tropomyosin is a rod shaped fibrous protein. It acts to helically twist filaments enclosed in the groove of the effecting double uh, helix. Its uh, important role in the sensitizing acting myosin molecules to calcium 2++. It serves as an on and off switch for the movement of actin filament in muscular contraction. Another one is troponin. It is a complex globular protein. It, uh, it differentiated into uh, three subunit PCI. This is the picture. Uh, we can see G actin and uh, troponin three subunit TNI, TNC and TNT. Functions of actin. It anger centriole during mitosis. Uh, it help in uh, anger in centriole, uh, uh, anger the centriole during mitosis and it serve as a bridging element between uh, cytoplasmic proteins and transmembrane protein. Then uh, they promote intracellular cytoplasmic streaming. Another one is uh, the functions of microfilament. It plays a significant role in the cell shape and polarity, organelle transport and mitosis, give a, give a mechanical support and um, actively participate in the endocytosis, exocytosis and migration of cells during embryonic development. Another one is intermediate filament. Um, cytoskeleton uh, third uh, third uh, type is called um, intermediate filament uh, their thickness is intermediate between um, microtubule and microfilament it is a long and strong or bent polymeric protein fibers occurring bundles or network they are um, monomerous elongated fibrous pro molecule and each with a central rod like portion and it has a amino terminal head and a carboxyl terminal tail and intermediate filament provide strength to the cytoskeleton major classes of intermediate filaments are first one is keratin keratin is also called tonofilament, pre-keratin or cytokeratin. They formed of the fibrous keratin or cytokeratins. It is a complex type of intermediate filament and found in India epithelial cells. <coughs> Under one is neurofilament. Neurofilament, the cytoplasm of neurons contain loosely packed bundle of intermediate filament whose length whose long axis are oriented parallel to that um, of the nerve cell axon this call intermediate filaments or neurofilaments next one is um, desmin desmin is important key structural role in maintaining the alignment of myofibrils or muscle cell 
and absence of this intermediate filament make the cell extremely fragile fragile another one is glial filaments found in cytoplasm of some glial cells they contain protein glial fibrillary acidic protein next one is vimentin protein vimentin filament vimentin uh, made up of uh, protein vimentin found in uh, differentiating um, animal cell and uh, particularly mesenchyme cell and another one is cinnamon cinnamon filaments uh, formed of protein cinnamon and uh, found in muscle cells together with desmin and vimentin filaments these are all about um, intermediate filament and it is all about cytoskeleton cytoskeleton uh, three structures uh, microtubule and uh, microfilament and uh, intermediate filament uh, their functions uh, etc uh, thank you for watching this video